Right, hello there and welcome to another devlog. Today I am going to be creating my very first top down shooter in under 8 hours. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. I started off by making the player since that is one of the most important parts of any game including a top down shooter. For this game we need the player to be able to do two things, move around and look at the mouse. This was relatively easy to implement, I just copied the script from the internet and now we've got a player that always faces the mouse and even though it looks quite weird it is actually working. Then I just added a simple cannon to our player and now you can actually see that it is indeed working. But this is just half of what we need. The other very important thing is movement. Luckily enough I was live streaming and my chat knew exactly what to do and screamed at me to not make it too complicated. And so we ended up with this, just three lines of code that handles movement perfectly. Right so we now have a player that can move around and always looks at the mouse just what we wanted. So it's time to move on to the next really important thing of any top down shooter, the ability to shoot. Right so this was a bit more difficult but still relatively easy. We just have to make sure that whenever you shoot by clicking the left mouse button, a bullet is spawned that moves towards the mouse position and even if the mouse after that moves away, it still keeps going in that original direction. So after quite a lot of field attempts ranging anywhere from giant purple lines to the bullets not wanting to move towards the mouse, I actually got it to work, although currently it looks absolutely ridiculous. So it's now the next day and also the next stream and I started off by making the bullets actually look good by simply making them a lot faster and a lot bigger. I also scaled down the player quite a bit and added a border to the scene. Then I made sure that the bullets could actually collide with that border and would then bounce off of it creating this really cool effect. Alright so after that I made some simple visual improvements, making the bullets round and making the cannon a bit wider. I also made the bullets destroy themselves whenever they hit another bullet, just to make sure it doesn't get too crazy. Right so we now basically have a top down shooter, although currently nobody has any reason to play it, so let's go change that. So to give the player a reason to play, I want to add two things to our game. A way to collect points and a way to die. And I found a pretty good way to do both by just looking at our game and more importantly the bullets. Because what if all these bullets were actually deadly? That would make for some really interesting gameplay since you would basically act as your own enemy. But if we do that we also need to give the player a reason to actually shoot. Because if we don't, what's stopping them from just not shooting and thus surviving? And that's where the second part of this comes into play. Because we currently have a way to die but not a way to earn points. So what if you earn points by shooting. Alright so before we get into all of that let's first make the bullets dangerous. We're going to do this by simply seeing if the bullets collide with the player and if they do we reset the scene. And luckily enough this took almost no time at all so we can quickly move on to spawning coins because that's how we're going to give the player points by spawning and then letting them shoot coins. So this will basically mean that if you shoot a lot of bullets you'll hit a lot of coins but you also have a bigger chance of hitting yourself. But if you instead shoot almost no bullets you'll also earn fewer points but you'll be safer overall. And I think this makes for some really nice gameplay in what is otherwise a really simple game. Alright let's get to actually making this. So we want a coin to be spawned in a random location around our scene every couple of seconds and the way we can do this is relatively easy. I created an object called coin spawn which every second I would give a random location. Then I added a timer to the spawner script that would spawn a coin every second. But before it does that it checks how many coins that are currently in our scene. If that number is too high it won't spawn anything. But if the current number is below like 15 it will spawn a coin in the location of our coin spawner. Which earlier we gave a random location and this may seem more difficult than it should be 
and that is because it is more difficult than it should be. After that, I wrote a script for the actual coins, which basically says if you get hit by a bullet, add one to the current score and then destroy yourself. And like I said, this is really easy, but it works just fine. Alright, so currently our game has a slight problem. When you fire a bullet in the same direction in which you are moving, it will hit you immediately, with you not being able to do anything about it. Also, if you fire a lot of bullets very quickly, they will actually hit each other before they have a chance to bounce around the scene. This is a very clear problem, but luckily enough, there's an easy fix I'm going to call passive time. Passive time basically means that whenever you shoot a bullet, it starts off by not being able to hurt you or any other bullet. Then after a couple of seconds, or when it hits the coin, the passive time will be lifted and the bullet will become dangerous. And to make sure the player knows what state a bullet is in, we'll give the bullets a certain color. Whenever a bullet is in passive mode, it will be colored blue, and once it becomes hostile, it will turn to red. This was all very easy to implement, but it made a huge difference. Right, so at this point the gameplay is as good as done, but there are still two very important things we need to add. First off, whenever a bullet or coin gets destroyed, nothing really happens. It doesn't have any impact, they just kinda disappear. We of course don't want that, but luckily enough there is a really easy fix. We're just gonna add some slight particle effects, and there you go. Just by adding that, we've made the game so much better. Alright, so now the second thing. Currently, our game goes as follows. You spawn in an empty scene, you try to get as many points as you can, you die and repeat. Whilst this is a fine gameplay loop and is exactly what we want, there is one slight problem. The transition from dying to spawning is terrible. Why? Well, because there is no transition. When you die, the scene simply gets reloaded. So let's make the transition smooth and give the player a say in whether they go on or not. It's time for everyone's favorite thing, user interface, also known as UI. All right, so let's start with the death screen. It doesn't need to be complicated. We just need three buttons. Try again, menu and exit. So after a little bit of work, we ended up with this, and I honestly think it looks brilliant. But as you can see, there is a menu button, but we currently have no menu. So let's go make one. Alright, so I started off by making one of the most ugly menus I've ever seen. It's just plain terrible. This is what it looks like, and I think you'd agree with me that it is really bad. So let's go make an actual good looking menu. But what actually makes for a good menu? Well, in this case, one of the most important things is that we make sure the menu fits the game. And if you look at our game, you can see that it's really minimalistic. So it wouldn't make any sense to make the menu really detailed. And that's why I made this. Along with your high score, it just gives you two options, play or leave and those are the only options we actually need all right so i actually did it i made my very first top down shooter in just eight hours and i am genuinely happy with how it turned out the only real complaint I have is that it looks kind of bland, so I could have tried to add all kinds of post-processing effects to make it look better, but I don't think that would have been worth it. This was always meant to be a quick little game that would help me understand how to make top-down shooters, and I think it's exactly that, and to be honest, I wouldn't want it to be anything else. So I'd say this is a very successful game, and I had a lot of fun making it. I also had a lot of fun making this video, but sadly enough, all fun things have to come to an end. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.